I used to play the French horn, like, back in high school, uh, you know, so like fifth grade you get to pick between like saxophone, trumpet, flute, clarinet, drums, trombone, and I picked trumpet because, you know, why not? It's a trumpet. Uh, and then when you get to seventh grade, they kind of uh, decide whether or not you're good enough to go to one of the more quote-unquote difficult instruments. Um, and I did. I chose to play the French horn. Um, I'm not gonna say that I was, like, particularly good at it. I wasn't bad, but I, I definitely wasn't super talented. Um, I remember senior year, you know, when I had to turn in the school French horn, because of course I don't own one. They're, like, over a grand for, like, a low-end one. And... I was I was sad giving up my French horn, but I was like, you know, this is fine, whatever. And my freshman year of college, we did trips to see the Toledo um, Symphony Orchestra, and I, the first time I was sitting there, listening to them play, and I heard the French horns, and I just was like, oh my god, I miss playing the French horn so much. So I like really had this crisis my senior year and I went out and I was on Craigslist and I found somebody selling a double French horn for like $200 and I should have known that it wasn't going to work out. Uh, so I go and I like, buy this French horn for $200 and of course it's like totally, totally shot to hell. It's just like, um, so brass can rot. And it just has this brass rot and it's leaking like a sieve and I'm like... <sighs> so basically I wasted $200 on an instrument that I never really even got to play. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that really sucked and I always look, I always look on Craigslist to see if there's a French horn. And there are. And they're really expensive. And I can't justify spending, like, $2,000 on a something that it's, I'm never going to make money playing the French horn. And it's just, it's just frustrating. I miss it. I miss it a lot.